friend Jesse Vargas, and I want to invite you to watch J. Calderon Boxing. All right, check us out. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, J. Calderon, Stan Clean Entertainment, and we're about to get into this week's boxing talk. It's the official announcement of Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, eight division world champion, returning back to Las Vegas, to the United States, to take on Adrian the Problem Brona. This is a very big matchup going into the new year of 2019, and we can't wait for this fight to take place. A lot of people look at AB as a guy that's going to get basically destroyed in this fight by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao is now going to be 40 years old, and this guy is at the tail end of his career. But he is one of the most dynamic, explosive, great fighters of this generation. He is an icon legend, a future Hall of Famer, and now he is returning back to the ring here in the United States to put on a grand performance as he's already signed a deal with Al Heyman as his advisor to now take his career to the next level. And this is a great opportunity for Manny Pacquiao because Pacquiao has now joined the PBC brand. This team right here has a lot of great fighters like Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. All these guys are in the PBC stable and it's a great mix now that Showtime is going to be putting on this pay-per-view event for Manny Pacquiao and Adrian Broner and then you have Fox Television Network which has given a lot of television dates for boxing fans to watch it on free television. Al Heyman is making big moves going into the new year and he's going to start it off right with this Manny Pacquiao Adrian Broner fight. Now Broner he's working with Kevin Cunningham. His last performance against Jesse Vargas he looked very good. The best that I've seen Adrian Broner in a very long time and Adrian Broner came in there with a little bit more than what he had in his last performance against Mikey Garcia because we know Mikey is a lightweight that moved up to the junior welterweight division to take on Adrian Broner and he clearly outboxed him very easily in that fight. I was there at that fight at the Barclays Center and it was an easy win for Mikey Garcia. So what is a guy like Manny Pacquiao who fights at the welterweight, junior welterweight limit in between, he always comes a little bit smaller than the welterweight 147 pound weight division. This guy right here is an experienced veteran of over 20 years. He's won titles in multiple divisions and he's gone up against the very best. Pacquiao has the experience, he still has quite a bit hand speed. He's as quick as Adrian Broner. Both guys are both fast and they're going to be letting off those shots. Now Broner is not an activity fighter. This guy does not keep up with the pace of Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao is a more volume puncher and he's going to be all over Adrian Broner. Broner has had three losses in his career against Marcos Madonna, Sean Porter, and Mikey Garcia. Like I said, Garcia was able to box him very easily. Sean Porter, an aggressive style, put a lot of pressure on him. And, you know, Broner had some success in that fight late in the rounds where he knocked down Sean Porter, but he came up with a loss. And Marcos Madonna gave him the biggest beating of his career. It was a brutal battle, and he lost for the very first time. And that was an awkward style, the way Madonna throws his punches for Adrian Broner. So what is Manny Pacquiao's style going to be for Adrian Broner? It's going to be a nightmare because Pacquiao throws punches from different angles. He has an awkward style as well as a southpaw fighter and he is a very good technical sound fighter with a good jab goes to the body and head and sets up his shots with his uppercut his straight left hand and he has tremendous speed when he lets off those shots Pacquiao has great excellent footwork we saw in his last performance against Lucas Matisse that he was able to dominate Matisse but you can't give him too much credit for that fight because Matisse was on the way down he was a shot fighter Matisse basically wasn't the same fighter after the Victor Postal fight so I can't give too much credit to Manny Pacquiao but he did look sensational in that fight he wasn't working with Freddie Roach and Freddie Roach you know, is said to believe to be returning back to the corner of Manny Pacquiao for this fight right here with Adrian Broner. Now, I don't think that that's a very good idea because he's suffering from Parkinson's disease and he needs to really just take the role of just, you know, giving some advice, not really getting in the ring. I think it just holds Manny Pacquiao back a little bit. You know, I think he did a great job with Boo Boy, his best friend that has always been in his corner since day one. I think they're a good team. I think they bring some new refreshment to Manny Pacquiao's career. And I think that if Pacquiao trains hard, he already looks in very good shape. So I think he'll be on target, you know, to make the weight easily and be in tremendous shape for this fight. As for Adrian Broner, we saw the way he came to the press conference with just two months left, you know, he looked out of shape. He's already did some light work that we've seen some video of him. He looks very fat. He doesn't look that good, but he has eight weeks at least of training camp to get into shape, and I believe Adrian Broner 
will be ready for the 147 pound weight division. You know, he usually fights around 144 and Adrian Broner will easily make that weight. He's not a big welterweight. Manny Pacquiao is not a big welterweight. So this is a perfect weight for both men to match up a little bit equally as far as the size and as far as the weight is concerned. As far as the skill factor, you know, Broner's a very talented fighter, but this guy does not take it to the next level. This is the biggest fight of his career, the most significant fight that he's ever had and the biggest payday. Now he's gonna be fighting on pay-per-view for the very first time, and Adrian Broner has to step up. He has to take this training camp serious. He has to come with more motivation and let his hands go if he's gonna have any type of success. Does he have the punching power to knock out Manny Pacquiao? I don't think so. I think Pacquiao has a great chin. We saw him knocked out against Juan Manuel Marquez. That was many years ago, and that was a perfectly timed shot from Marquez that fought him four times to get that result, you know? But I don't think that Brona could win a decision victory or even a knockout against Manny Pacquiao. Can Manny Pacquiao stop Adrian Brona? This is what everybody's going to tune in to see. A lot of people are going to tune into this fight and buy the pay-per-view and also be in Las Vegas for this fight because of the simple fact is that Adrian Brona, even though he's not the top, top elite fighter, people love to watch this guy. He has a great charismatic style. He has that flash, that flamboyance, that bad boy image. He has the good and the bad outside of the ring and people just want to see him either get his ass kicked or want to see him shine and show the true potential that he has. Manny Pacquiao, of course, he's an icon legend and a lot of people love Manny Pacquiao. He has a legion of fans that are going to come out and support him and people are going to tune in to watch this fight because it is a big fight. It's bigger than Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder who are struggling right now with only eight thousand tickets sold for their boxing event at the Staples Center for the heavyweight championship where you know it's only a week away and that fight is not going to sell very well in pay-per-view it's not even going to reach close to a million pay-per-view buys I guarantee it Manny Pacquiao Adrian Broner I see that reaching at least one million pay-per-view buys it should do very well or high up there to really get the attention of the casual fans and the hardcore fans to tune in to this fight. Also, Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence. That's a big showdown. A lot of people expect Mikey Garcia to get murdered by Errol Spence because Spence is a very big guy for the welterweight division. So a lot of people are going to tune in for that and we're going to see a probably good crowd on hand, but I don't think it's going to sell more than a Manny Pacquiao, Adrian Broner. You know, that's just my opinion. I think these guys are star power names and they come together for a big event showdown in Las Vegas. It's going to do extremely well for Manny Pacquiao and for Adrian Broner. Broner, if he pulls out the victory in this fight, which I highly doubt, it's going to be the biggest victory of his career. It's going to catapult him to a major fight, perhaps against a guy like Floyd Mayweather, because that's the prize for both of these guys. Floyd Mayweather is returning on New Year's Eve, December 31st in Tokyo, Japan, where he's going to be fighting in a three-round exhibition boxing match against a kickboxer who's about 20 years old. And this Japanese guy is not going to be able to use any kicks or knees. It's a straight-up boxing match for just three rounds with MMA gloves. And this is just something for Floyd to get an easy grab of money of $88 million plus in revenue and he's gonna walk away laughing to the bank and get his little exercise for three rounds with this young little firecracker. And then he's gonna wait and start the hype up for the winner of Brona and Pacquiao. Because he, against either one of these guys, is gonna be a major event, especially if Brona wins. How big is a fight between him and Floyd Mayweather? It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be phenomenal. And if Pacquiao wins, then, you know, people are going to say, what is the performance that Pacquiao did against Brona and Lucas Matisse to really say maybe he has a shot to fight a Floyd Mayweather, who's also old in his 40s. But these guys are going to draw interest. And this fight is supposed to take place in 2019. This is the reason why Pacquiao signed with Al Heyman to get that rematch with Floyd Mayweather. And Floyd loves money. And this is a big money fight. For Floyd Mayweather, the rematch against Pacquiao. It's bigger than any other fight in 2019. Bigger than Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, and also bigger than Canelo Triple G3. So I look forward to watching this fight. I think that Manny Pacquiao will win a 12th round unanimous lopsided decision against Adrian Broner. I'll give Adrian Broner the benefit of the doubt. I believe he has a good enough chin to take Manny Pacquiao's power and survive a very big beating to say that he went 
12 rounds with one of the greatest fighters of all time. And I believe at the end of the fight, you will hear Adrian Broner say that Manny Pacquiao is the greatest fighter that he has ever stepped into the ring with. And he will give him much props and respect when this fight is all said and done. But I see Manny Pacquiao by 12th round unanimous decision. And that's my take on this upcoming fight. Tune in to Showtime Pay-Per-View. January 19th, 2019 is going to start off the year right. And it's Manny Pacquiao returning to Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. And I can't wait. I would like to thank everyone for tuning in to this YouTube channel right here. J. Calderon Boxing Talk. Please hit that little red subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. Put your email information in so you get all my notifications once I drop a new video. Also, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. And join the Facebook boxing group page. All under the same name. J. Calderon Boxing Talk. I'm J. Calderon. Stand Clean Entertainment. Thanks for your support. Keep watching. And please subscribe.